Okay, our lesson for today is lesson number 21, uh, Miracles of Jesus. And we have two questions to introduce this lesson. And the first question is, why do you think Jesus performs miracles? What could be the purpose why he performs them? Um, I think it is but natural that kita would be attracted to someone who has extraordinary power, kumunang, uh, hindi lang sa bata, kundi bisan sa mga tigulang, ang um, superheroes, uh, Marvel mana or DC, doka, uh, doka close kaya po sa atong tikit po soon, kahit sa una, we think nga ang um, Batman or Superman para lang sa mga kabataan, but we realize ang generation na nagdako sa Batman at sa Superman, at sa subong Batman niya po at Superman ang kanunihan. Um, I realized uh, recently that I get to watch movie only once a year, probably because of budget constraints or uh, possibly tungod kay why nagid man mayo nga mga movie gaginuwa git uh, enough to uh, move me nga magastogin. Kaya ang mahal sa sinihan hindi lang yang ticket kundi ang popcorn naga upod sa sine. Uh, but uh, in the past two years, uh, tag isa isa lang ko ka sulod sa sinihan. Kag tanan nga ginsulan ko uh, is about superheroes. Uh, two years ago, si Wonder Woman. This year, my movie of the year is Spider Man. Kag basi amo na lang last kong movie. Salamat sa amon sponsor. Unless mas sponsor ni sa liwat sa amon pa independent siya. Okay? But why do you think Jesus performs miracles? Something that is wonderful, something that amazes people. Amo na nga ang ginasugpo nila nga word sa Spider-Man is amazing. It's a friendly neighborhood, pero um, the abilities that Spider-Man is able to do amazes people and it attracts people's attention. But in the case of Jesus, feeling mo nga ang makaperform sa miracles. Ano ay hanang tinutuyo that he was able to do what he was able to do. Now, if you ask this question sa mga Pentecostals, tanga mga utod, or hindi ko sure kung utod ba sila, uh, ano ay hanila isabat sa sininga pamangko? Kaiti, sang gamay kami, um, si Papa was a pastor sa Iloilo, uh, across the street, some church na iya ginatrabahuhan is the provincial capital. And I think once or twice a year, there would be a big event sa tabok sa sinakasimbahan uh, because there's a, uh, a big space sa tubangan. And um, may ara kami permi, may ara sila permi, Miracle Crusade. Okay? Um, probably you have heard about it. And um, kung simbahan sila or grupo sila sa mga kristohanon, uh, kaginahin mo na nila sa tabok lang namun, my question early on as a small child, nga away kami tiyag at join. Kag te, gaistar kami, tabok malang sa sinang uh, event, uh, I would hear them say, baw ang ining atawo, gasakay sa wheelchair, pag naugalin sa stage, galakat na. And so you may ask, or if you ask a Pentecostal, why was Jesus able to perform miracles? Their answer to you probably so that we could replicate it today. Because Jesus was able to perform miracles, so dapat part sa aton nga ministry is also to perform miracles, and particularly the miracles of healing. Muna may mga simbahan gidya, muna I don't advise Bethel Music, kaya ang Bethel Church is about miracles. Kag they train their people to go door to door, kag mang perform sang healing, kay part na sang ila ministry. Because ang ila line of thought is, ang muna tawag nila nga non-cessationist, kaya ang meaning sana, ang miracles wala nag-untat um, after the apostles. So they don't believe that the miracles cease, so we are, we will be able to do miracles even until today. Okay? Why was Jesus able to do miracles? To demonstrate that he was truly the son of God, there are two primary purposes 
that Jesus was able to perform it first to show compassion. Ano tayong nabalaan? Kung manotice nyo, every time Jesus sees the crowd, and especially if the crowd is in need, gutom sila, talang-talang sila, gamasakit sila, or uh, sa ginwali ni Sir John Ray, Jesus was moved with compassion that he may mga may mga instance kung kisang ang gospel writer would would record the reaction of Jesus seeing the crowd that they were hungry he was filled with compassion amado it was in his heart that um, it was so evident in his physical being na ginhimo niya ni tungod sa kaluoy so he is a compassionate savior but it's not simply compassion kay ang main din nga purpose is to demonstrate divine power. Kagamuni aton nga pamatod an subong adlaw that he was able to perform miracles not so that the church can still replicate it today. Hindi para kopyahon sa simbahan nga kung si Jesus naka-perform miracles kami makahimo man subong but it was his way to show his compassion and to prove his deity para mamamatod an niya ang iya gahom bilang Ginoo. Sinang Lisa may utod nga nagka-cancer sa Lemery, uh, nanay ni JR. It was the late stage of her cancer, I think sa ovary to bala mo, no? Um, she, I think she was so desperate enough that nag-amat-amat na sa balik simba. Kag, um, of course, kung, if you're desperate to find cure or healing or somewhat a miracle, feeling ko ang, des- ang desperation nito yeah, is to find miracle So, gito sa akong pastor, nagkanto ko sa isa kasimbahan, si Lilo, may hiling-hiling. Te, of course, eh, mo hope na kung sino mo lang makabulig somehow, prayer mo na. In pray over siya, some church, and the cancer is still there. Of course, ikaw ang simbahan, hindi ka man gusto mahuyan, but to save face, ang hambal ng simbahan, huwag ka na ayo tungod kayong imo pagtuo, kulang. Di, kung ikaw may cancer, gasakit na gani, imupuson, tungod kami, cancer, imupuson, mapusan ka pa gid, saan mo ng linya, na kulang ang imupagto. But my question is, how much faith do you need that your miracles can heal me? So we ask, what is the purpose of the miracles of Jesus? Was it so that the church today can still copy it? Kaya nahimo niya, dapat mahimo tapaman subong. Di, dapat next week, part sa natin ng programa, Kung muna may mga simbahan, gid ya. Sino sa inyo may masakit ka? Pwede ka mo sa tubangan, kay pre-over ka mo ni pasto. Okay? So, hindi nyo na kinanglan ng servisyon ni Ate Beka. Kaya kung sino mo piang or sino mo balian, kanto lang ka mo sa tubangan, kaya pangamuyuan ka muna mo. If you are not healed, the reason is your faith is not enough. Was that the purpose? Matthew 4, 23-24. Jesus went throughout all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel. Natuwa ha? Jesus is not purely a miracle worker. Ito yung drakta sa nakilalaan, but natuwa ang iyang ministry. Teaching, preaching. He is a witness to the gospel. So, ikaw kag ako, wala tawag yung rason nga hindi namang witness na hanungod sa gospel, kay ang manuluwas was selling the gospel. He was proclaiming promoting the gospel. And he was teaching in their synagogues. Synagogue is the Jewish church. Is Jesus gakadto sa simbahan sang mga hudiyo to teach them na hanungod sang gospel and to proclaim them of this. And part of his ministry, lantawa ang word nga ING, teaching, proclaiming, and healing. Meaning, it is as integral part or important na parts ng iyang ministry is also physical. It's not all about spiritual, but my parts na is physical. Every disease, every affliction. Namiyan ko sa sining a thought kay hindi lang yang masakit ang nagabother, kag ang nagadala sang kalalatan sa mga tawo, but also it could be something more than just physical. So ang natabo is he was able to heal them that Natabo ni sa Galilee, it was a region, the north of Israel, but his fame spread until where? Ano ah? 
Jesus was more famous in Syria, the home country of ISIS, than he was famous in Judea. Ang mga tao, doon mas makabaton pa kay Jesus sa mga kaluluhan sa mga ISIS kaysa mga high priest. Ang tawag lang, doon ka weird. No? Isa mong lungga, sila sa terorista. But when Jesus was there, he was so famous enough. Hey, I think tanan nga banwa, may ara famous naman ng hilot. Diba? Dapat kantukan din na sa ormang bubulong. Either hilot na or bulong. Basta kung magsikat kaya ginakantukan ka sa mga tao. Jesus Fame spread. Why? Because of his ability not only to teach, pero ang mga tao, yeah, kung physical, tiisipa bala, subong gani, nga may mga hospital, may gapangita, sa gaya po, tanda ng doktor. How much more sa sinang a time that there would probably be doctors but not enough you know, medical care available to them during those days so they would find the best place or best way to find cure. They brought him what? All the sick, afflicted with various diseases and pains, oppressed by demons, epileptics, paralytics, and on the last phrase is, he healed them. Question, what specific types of miracles did Jesus perform in this early ministry? Ano nga mga klase? Namihan ko, kaya ang gina, gina, ano niya, ang gina, butang niya bilang ang mga, mga example. Hindi ni tanan na klase sa akin, na sakit. Gin generalize lang, all the sick, afflicted with diseases and pains. And probably, ang ining mga tao were afflicted not only physically, but emotionally or mentally, possibly. Ito yung ining mga epileptic, ang mga may kuyap, kung kisa, hindi lang niya tungod kay Kuya Pun ng silang mga tao. But probably it was caused by demons. And even paralyzed people that it was so impossible during that time to find cure. He healed them all. So, Jesus healed all sorts of diseases and cast out demons. Now, let us take note that with the demon, I don't know, The, the casting out of demons na parts ng ministry ni Jesus, if you notice, in the Old Testament, wala sang demon possession or casting out of demons na gina record in the Old Testament. Why? We realize that the more the king is, ang pag-abot sang hari, mas lapit, mas gadubli or gadouble time ang ubra sang yawa. That's why when Jesus came, ang demons... Do feeling ko ang demonic world do nag ano na do nag excited. Lapit na siya mag-abot, mangulamid na lang tatudo. So the demons made a project that we will double time. Amo na double time sila pang sapi, gabang double time sila pang pang disturbo sa mga tao. That's why Jesus among all others had the most ano na ministry when it comes to casting out of demons is concerned. Now, I know that ang Catholic Church, may aragin sila branch for exorcism, may aragin sila school for exorcism, dedicated specifically for that. But si Jesus, ang una, ang pinakadamo, gin pang pagwa ng malain ni Spirito. No wonder ang revelation, makita nyo, nga aka-active sang demonyo, because he knows that the second coming of the king is near. So hindi na kamo matingala nga ang demonyo, ang yawa, mas double time, the more that Jesus is near with his coming. Now, um, um, Matthew 4, the reference is just a summary, some sort. Do gin summarize lang ni, ni Matthew ang um, kalabanan nga ginahimo ni Jesus, but let us look at a specific type of, I don't know, uh, of miracle today. And I think... Um, More or less, ang ining istorya is familiar to us, but we want to look at it in a greater detail. John 11:1 to 4. Start tayo kay Teresa May. Kailan ba sa? Kaya ako sa board. Hi, text. Mary, who anointed the Lord, is anointed and anointed, and he has received him for him. 
Sir, itu kan ini, Bro. Para Okay, so here's the background of the story. A man was ill. Kag wala sila apelido, amo na ang ilang ngalan, ginatay up lang sa kung taga diin sila. Uh, si Jepone nga taga taga Sambag or si Rinyel nga taga taga Pandan. Ah. So, amo na. Wala sila apelido, so ginatay up sila sa ngalan sa ila tatay or kung diin sila nga Barangay Gahalin. So here is a man named Lazarus of the, the small village named Bethany. It's very near Jerusalem. It's the village of Mary and her sister Martha who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair. They have money probably tungod kahambal sila ini ang negosyo sa sininga pamilya hotel or inn. Meaning kay damo galagaw sa Jerusalem with the religious uh, feast So laban-laban kung mag-awas ang Jerusalem, mangita gina sila istaran sa Bethany and they are a village near Jerusalem. So mga tao mangita gini pahuwayan dere and this was a common lodging of Jesus dere ni sa kilig mag magistar tungod kay lapit lang sa sa Jerusalem, makahalin ka lang di aga, makabalik ka lang dayon pagkahapon. So walking distance lang sa Jerusalem kag medyo linong komparar mo sa dako na siyudad. It's the capital city so te, gusto niya sang medyo tawhay-tawhay gawa. Kabalaban ang Bethany is like Bangyay uh, with regards to no, to Bangkok. Te, syempre ari na ta medyo layo-layo na tagawa. Pero within the within the distance of the city. So ini nga pamilya lapit ni kay Jesus. Kag So no sa sing istorya si Lazarus ga masakit and it's but natural that the sisters hindi lang ya isa kag familiar ka mo ni kay Marta uh, in the politiko ya pelido So of course pag masakit si si Lazarus it's but normal that the sisters would send news for Jesus lang tawang news He whom you love ang palangga mo nga abyan they have an understanding nga uh, We have a relationship. But when Jesus heard it, he said, this illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Nagmasakit ang imo abyan nga ginapalangga mo, suno sa iya mga otod, romalisos, hindi ni makalabot sa kamatayon or this will not remain with death because this sickness is for what purpose? Two things. It will glorify God so that the Son of God, it will both glorify God and specifically the Son of God will be glorified through this sickness. So, amuni ang purpose. And as this story ends, we will discover how this sickness gave glory to God and His Son. So, sige paguro, sir. Kaya ito. Thank you, thank you. Okay. John 11:5 to 7. The one whom you love, hindi lang niya two way. Kay comment ni John, Jesus loved Mary, Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So It is but clear to the disciples what kind of relationship Jesus had with them. Hindi ni assumption or presumption sa mga mag-utod niya ay close ta pero kay Jesus kali hindi hindi tayo close. But ang mga disciples mismo nakabalo nga si Jesus mismo palangga niya ni ang ining tatlo ka mag-utod. So when he heard that Lazarus was ill, tantawa. Isn't it weird? Feeling mo kon nag may gindraiban sinong bibong pa probinsya next week kag nabalitaan niya lang niya example lang niya nga si nang nadya nga masakit kag ara nag sulod sa ospital feeling mo sinong bibong makapikapi lang siya kag hindi lang siya magdali kag or mapaburhot sa sang iya sa lakyan nga within 30 minutes kwaon niya ang pizza nulok pakadto sa nang tabore Pronto si Jesus when he heard that Lazarus was ill It seems that he was not in a hurry. 
na para si Edo, hindi urgent. Which I presume na 50-50 ang kahit hindi ka man mangita kay Jesus kung, kung hilanat malang lang ni or luka, kamild malang lang ni nga masakit. Right? So Jesus stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, ng hagad siya, let us go to Judea again. Now, if you notice, ginlak ang anta, ginskip ta, pakanto sa verse 11, kahit ang verse 8 to 9, ga, or verse 8 to 10, ga lalisay na di si Jesus, kaya mga disipulo, Kama sa mga disipulo, Jesus wanted ka sa Judea. Uh, the Jews are trying to find ways to kill you there. Nga makanto pa tato, kung risbuhon ta, aton ka ugalingon. Kama ni Jesus, uh, I have a business there. I must go there. After saying this, kama ni Jesus, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to wake him up. Kung ikaw ang, kung amun ay pang istorya sa inyo boss, Una, verse 8 to 10, wanted ka to, delikado, magkanto ka to, but gapanghagad ka sa amon Jesus para pukawal ng sila sa Ros. Bisan may salakyan, pani maupod ka. Ano umbrahon nyo, makanto lang ka mo to para pukawal? Why gin sa utod para magpukaw sa inyo? Doon ka good lagin magpukaw. So lang tawa ilang uh, pang sabat. Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he is recovering. Kung may masakit ka, sinodri makatulog. Kasakit ay mong ipon, hindi ka nikatulog. Or galaslain mo siyan, hindi ka nikatulog. Kaya mali yan, si Jesus, kung nakatulog naman siya, most likely right now, He is already recovering. So why bother go there? Now in retrospect, kamal ni John, Jesus had spoken of His death. But they misunderstood that He was speaking of sleep. Amo na, aging tatlong gindiretsyo ni Jesus, Lazarus has died. Pero nang tawang gindiretsyo ni Jesus, and for your sake, I am glad that I was not there. Ano si Jesus? Sa lista? Lipay ko, maway ko to. Kaya napatay siya. Kung ilunggohan mo, nila ito kalain niya. If the verse ends there, this is a bad image for Christ nga Nalipay kaya palangga mo ni Jesus nga nalipay kang away ka to. They believe so much in your power nga ti, kung ikaw gani makaayo sang random na stranger nga hindi mo kilala, how much more the people you love. But why are you glad that you were not there? Lanto ang sugpuniso. So that you may believe. So let us go. So what did Jesus know that his disciples did not know? Ang answer sa ni is Jesus knew that Lazarus had already been dead. Amuna, by using the thought of sleep to represent death. Kagin kupya ni sa mga disciples, kag sa mga apostles, sa Jesus. That the image that Jesus used to represent death, it's just a sleep. Because, hindi kay tungod, waay katuntuod na patay, gatulog ka lang. Meaning, si Sleeping Beauty, Gatulog lang to. Why ko sa napatay? No, it's not. It's, ano na ganito wag man? It's not coma. Nga do vegetable ka na da. But the thought of sleeping, when Jesus equates it with death, it tells us that death physically, physical lang niya, when ilabot ang spiritual kag eternal, or ang second death, nga ginahambal sang Sang, uh, revelation, when it comes to physical death, whether you are a believer or not, Jesus calls it sleep. Why? He will, one day, He will call all people, whether the righteous or the unrighteous. Nakita ta na sa Daniel, kag nakita ta sa Revelation. Pukawon ni Jesus ang tanan, kag sila magabugtaw. Because the separation of our body with our spirit is temporary. Yes, ang mga pastor, mabatian nyo na kung may lubong, di ba? Do na ginadulong ta subong ang ang bangkay o ang lawas ang ato ni nga utod sa iya temporaryo nga kapahuwayan temporaryo pero ginahambal nila na hanungod sa mga believers but i realize that you can also say the same thing of unbelievers galing hindi mo lang na gusto sugpunan sa lubong sang unbeliever alangan hambalon mo kay magabot ang pila ka adlaw ining utod ta nga believer pukawon sing inuo makadto upod sa iya Pero ang unbeliever yan, pukawan sa inyo o, 
Kaya mapaimpir no ni sate, ang gurao, guru ng pamilya, ba, o pastor, gabugtaw siya. <laughs> Buyayaho niya si pastor, imbes nga madu, madula, guru yung lahibi. No? Pukawon sa gino, kaitagbong sa impir no, kulain mo. Okay? But it's true. Why? Death is like sleep because it's temporary. It's not permanent. Okay? Verse 17 to 27. When Jesus came to the near the village, he found that Lazarus, ginaklaro ni John, nga pag-abot ni Jesus, pila na kaadlaw patay si Lazarus. Okay. Four days. Okay. And according sa, hindi ko sure kung na-mention ni Sir John Ray, uh, sa iyang awali, sang resurrection to, sang anak, sang widow, diba? nga ang mga hudiyo, pareho sa mga muslim, why sila ya? Why na nila gina? Why na nila gina palawi? Okay? Actually, recently, feeling ko sa Pilipinas, galawig mo lang ang lamay tungod kay ginaportahan pa nila ang, ang patay, di ba? Kaya te, isa tag 30 dias, or kisa feeling ko, why na na bang kay? Lungol lang na nila gina butang kay may tahor, di ba? Hindi ko sure. Dako kina na guru porta mo. Kaya te, kisa tag apat na kabulan, arang yapo nila nga. Mayara, sa, sa kalye, why ka na kage? Feeling ko palusot na lang na nila ako nung may patay kay matahor sila. Pero ari yan, mga hudiyo, kung patay aga, lubong hapon, kung patay hapon, himuson ta nila yun, kay lubong sa aga, ang lamay masunod lang. So, himuson ka ani namun, kag ulihi na lang kami mag um, magluksa. So when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had been dead, had had already been in the tomb. Meaning, ginhimus dahil nila. Ato na to sa uh, iyalulugnan, apat na kaanlaw. Verse 18 to 19 was something na gusto iklaro ni John sa aton. Bethany was near Jerusalem, two miles off. Meaning, walking distance lang. So many of the Jews had come to Ma Mary and Martha to comfort them concerning their brother. Meaning, kung ilungguhon mo ni, nag, nag, nakilamay ang mga taga Jerusalem. Kaya ang purpose ni John is to prove to us that Jesus is the Messiah. Kaya yung ministry, laban-laban, gusto mag-affect sa mga tao sa Jerusalem. So ang mga witnesses that day to this event are people not exclusively of Bethany, but many from Jerusalem came to this event. Not for Jesus, but to comfort. Of course, maunong madalaguro sa ila daguro para sa magutod. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, like she always does, siya ni ang gaprokurar sa tanan, guro sa ako pa sa preparas ng sultan, pero sa nabatian niya na si Jesus pakanto lantawa. Why niya naging hulat nga si Jesus mag-abot sa ila balay? She went and met him on the way. Okay, so siya ang welcome party. She was so excited to meet Jesus. Pero si Mary, anong inihimo niya? Lantawa. Mary remained seated. Now let us take note. Hindi ko sure kung paano kung magluksa. And what's the saddest uh, funeral or loss of a loved one you have ever experienced? Or kung ano man ang posture, ginahimo mo kung mag-grieve ka, but... It was a common posture of grief among the Jews to sit down. Iban sa ilaga ni ano na they faced the ground and ano na they threw dust upon their head. Iban sa ilaga so so pasako just to mourn their dead. But when someone is seated and sits still, it means that their excessive grief had rendered them immobile. Meaning, hindi hindi na kawagiyo. Huwag na ko labot kung sino. Though hindi na ko kapag silabot o hindi na ko pwede may istorya. Ito pala marok na akong mata because I'm just there sitting still grieving my brother's death. So, feeling ko si Marta, yeah, though ano nisa, sa kuon niya, iyakaw galingon, feeling ko para hindi sa maghibi. Guru, te, mahibi lang sa kung tapos na ang tanan ng ulugasan, kung siya nalang bilin, kag kung naubos ng tanan ng trapo-trapuhan, Pero so Mary, yeah, she was the emotional one. She couldn't even contain herself that she was paralyzed by the grief and it was but natural for 
for her to do that kay common ni nga ginahimo sa mga audio ato ang inhambal ni Martha is this right natural niya Jesus if you had been here ato ang term yung gamit niya had been okay kun ari ka lang tani this statement is it good or bad Kung ikaw si Jesus, ano, ano ba't sagun mo sa'yo? Would you feel good? Kung ikaw si Martha, would you dare say this to Jesus? Oh Lord, kung lumupad ka ng tani, kung naari ka ng tani. Now, this statement is both a statement of weakness and faith. Why? Weakness in a sense that she was somehow blaming Jesus. Bautani, Lord, tisipun tabla, may naayo ka ganing ng pertito ka laot. Ariya utod ko, palangga ka, why mo sa nabkan? Or, it's also a statement of faith. Why? She really believes that Jesus was able to prevent his brother's death. Okay? And I think si, si Jesus understands our weakness nga kung kisa, kabalo siya. Kinaintindi niya. Why, why gin siya may gin-react nga malain in a sense nga, kinabasol mo ko? Why gin siya nag-amuna? Kaya kinaintindi niya, ang kasubos ng tao kung kisa, may mahambal gin kontra sa iya. But even now, I know. Ang tawagin himo ni Martha. Jesus, kung ari ka lang tani, huwag ito napatay ako ng utod. But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Ang hamba sa mga commentators, pabati-bati ni. Tingway ka di kayo nagligad, di ba si, may pwede ka na imuuna sa buong kaari ka na, nagkanto ka na malanggid, sayangon ka pa ni. Di, kabalugid ko yan ako, may pangayuon ka sa gino. And now, she's not specifying her request. Ano ha? Pabati. Hindi mo lang mga mga Pinoy ka bulo mong pabati-bati mo. Puting mga Odeo mong guro. Pwede sa gamba, Lord, t- be banhawa na lang ni. Eh. Gamba lang sa kabalo lang ko kung ano pang pangayo mo sa ginoo. Yata kasi mo. Ano sa bat ni Isos? Ano to habla? Insindi na lang ito ni Isos. Gamba niya, your brother will rise again. Now, Amali Martha, I know that he will rise again when Now, Martha was good enough that she was not assuming. Lazarus was not the first man Jesus resurrected. Martha, being that close to Jesus, probably heard. Sa din ito kanina siyudad? Hindi ito sa Judea, no? Ikaw na ko, ay, lipat ka na. Galile ito, galile. Galile ito. Basta hindi ito Judea, di ba? Ano nga siya, Dad? Lipat ka na. Ang ginbanhaw itong bata, ang lapit. Jericho. Layo-layo gawa. Lapit-lapit sa gawa sa... Jericho. Kuya kay, kay sa Kios. Kuya. Ah, basta, muna ito. Kag si Jairus. Ang bata ni Jairus. Nain to ba? Di ba? Nain. So, nain. Di, pero di amunin sila ka-close ni Martha. Laban-laban na batian ni Martha. Naging banhaw kay Jesus. Pero Martha was not assuming. I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. And Martha was unlike the Sadducees na wala gapati sa resurrection. But Martha reads and believes in Daniel. Na ano, sunod kay Daniel, mabanhaw ang mga to, may maba, may pagbanhaw ang matabo sa ulihing adlaw on the day of the Lord. But Jesus said to her, what? I am two things. Kag here is one of the I am's sa John. Kumiara kita I am the way, the truth and the life. Ari Amalisos, I am the resurrection and the life. 
and the consequence in believing in Jesus as the resurrection and the, and the life, though he died, straightforward ang results. If and then, if he believes in me, bisan mapatay pa sa, mabuhin sa liwat, and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Ron to ang statement ni Jesus. And this is one of those places nga namian ko, kiginsugpunan niya sa pamangkot. Do you believe this? So what did Jesus ask Martha regarding her belief in him? Jesus asked her if she believed that he is the resurrection and the life. And if she believes that her brother shall live again because of him. Which feeling ko, basi tungod sang grief or it was too heavy for her to understand all of these things. Ang ginahambal ni Jesus, simply Simply stick mo lang si Jesus kasi si John, di ba? Ano ginabi ka budlay magsiling? Ako ang kabuhi, kag ako ang pagbanhaw. Galing these, these concepts and these truths are so strange to us. Magsiling saya, I am handsome, maintindihan mo na. I am slow, maintindihan mo na. Pero pagsiling na gani, I am the life and the resurrection, do ka weird, di ba? So probably, gapati lang sa, pero waayagin na lubos insindihan kung ano man eh, but I am the resurrection and the life. Hima hima yun tanyan na. Two things that are related but distinct. Nga. As the life, Jesus is the source. Pag siling niya, I am the life. Gahamba si Jesus, I am the source of life. Kapag siling ni Jesus, I am the resurrection. Ang ginahamba niya, He has the power to cause resurrection to those who died, who trusted in Him. And because he is the life or the source of life, he can be the cause of resurrection. Amuna, they go together. Na? Rara ni gusto ko i-distinguish natin. Resurrection is different from what? What is resuscitation? Ano ang meaning sang CPR? Ang CPR hindi na Ang CPR hindi na medical term for lips to lips. Ito eh, isang gamay ta, ang mga sinib lang na nalumo sa swimming pool kay damo bata ng mga umo, ga excited gid, ga kalumo sa swimming pool. Kag kumaglabot sa, sa parts ng sining, naging CPR na ang nalumos. Sambali papa, close your eyes. Ito eh, lips to lips. Close your eyes. Ano meaning sang CPR? Cardio? Cardio is C. Ang P? Okay. Cardio pulmonary. Okay. Ang resuscitation is regaining the loss of consciousness. Nalipungan lang sa probably hindi siya nga nadulaan yung isang ginhawa Pero he, he's rendered unconscious, but there's still pulse. Sabla, may, may pulso na yagyapon. Amo na, nga daw kinanglan mo sa sudlan hangin, kay waay gapump normal ang iya heart. Okay? That you need to resuscitate. And worst case is, kinanglan mo sang may electric shock na bla. ano tawag siya na? Uh, defibrilla defibrillator. Uh, Amo nang machine ngin takod sa heart ni Etsan ni Brad. Ang gamay lang nga version. Kay kun hindi ko no magnormal beating sa imo heart, i-pump niya na or i-shock niya na para i-stabilize niya ang beat sa imo heart. Kay si Mama, why nagapatibok siya puso. Gakulang, gakulang. 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 Gakulang na. Si Mimi na lang makapalagas siya. Palagas din hawa. Resuscitation is just regaining the loss of consciousness, but resurrection is losing life. Why ka niya din hawa? Why ka niya kabuhi? And you regain it. Two different things. 
Kasi may kapati kong isa, ang resurrection, it's a state of sleep. Doon nagtulog ka lang. But it's not that. Okay? So, what was Martha's response to Jesus' question, do you believe this? Do you believe that I am the resurrection and the life? Anong sabat ni Martha? Namihan ko sa sabat niya. Waay na pagduwa-duwa. And I think she believes Christ so much, nga nakasilingit sa iya, yes Lord, I believe. Pero lang to ang sub niya sa sabat, why sa ganit nagpati that you are the life? Why ya ganit recite back sa kay Jesus? Pamangkot sa iya, do you believe that I'm the resurrection and the life? Ang sabat niya kay Jesus, I believe that you are the Messiah. You are the Son of God who is coming into the world. Ang ining uh, confession ng tuwa, she believes that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, was a bold, a good, a noble confession of faith showing her full confidence in Jesus as the Messiah and her full belief. Jesus, kasi namo, kasubo ang akon, kasubo, ang kasako, ang sipon, ang kapait. But if you ask me, do you believe? Whatever you say that you are, Yes, Lord, I believe. Let me know. Question. And at this point, this is a question for you and me. And at this point, this is also a question. If given a prep, an opportunity, na makatudlo ka muni, probably season six paniguro. Layo pa. If Jesus would ask the same question to you, let me answer it. Do you believe this? What will your answer to him be? Will it be the same affirmative, confident answer as Martha? Yes, Lord, I believe. That whatever you said, you are, I believe that that is true. Verse 32. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, kaging patawag sa sang iya utod. And finally, nagtindog na ginman sa kaging katuan niya si Jesus. Guru ka palang luya. Sa kag, I think, ang ininga posture na miyan lang gini si Mary, maghimo. She, sit, she sat at the feet of Jesus. Now she falls at her feet saying to him, same thing, ang ginambal sa iya magulang. Why didn't you like rehearse? Feeling ko natural nga feeling. Hindi ni, fo, hindi ni uniform ang ilang reaction, but natural nga feeling. Lord, tani kung ari ka, same sa iya magulang. You, my brother, would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her also weeping. Tantua ha? Now, nabasahan ko that sang high school kami may sining at crying ladies. Diba? Ginabayran na sila para lang mag, magpasubo sang, sang lubong. And tanay ko may kwarta lang kami do amugit tanay inimo namun sa lubong sa amulula. Kaya bisa na nun namun nga, nga pilit hibi waigid. Ang iyang uh, timbang amo pa nag hibi. Nga hindi man namun pa rin te. Siya pa yan nag hibi. Ang mga apo ay nag hibi. Buong mga pronto. Ang mga apo. Pero tawagin ni Jesus. When Jesus saw Mary weeping I think this this grief was so much. Ngati may ara gid yang mga tawo kag si Jesus knowing that he's not even a female. May mga laki yang makapugong sang hibi nila. But Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her also weeping. I think duwa lang guro sa mga lubong na na, na perform ko sa Lemere gid damo tuga kapatay. Either kilala sang kilala ga pabulig lubong kabalo ka gid ang difference ang Christian kag hindi Christian di atong lubong hindi Kristohanon kag doka an timely nga kamatayon bugra di nga bura kag i made it a point kit hapon usually ang lubong di ba mga hapon sang duming sabado kit ang mugi nang off sang tanan perti pa kainit di may lang kit dapat di ko magdala shades at least kun sila yang maghibi ara lako na kapanago sa akong shade why mo ko kaagi hibi, pero you will be deeply moved. And you will be greatly troubled by the grief. Di kun, kun ano pa ni, kun ilungguhon mo ni, amat-amat si Jesus, 
Gakatublag. Is that the right word? He's affected by the grieving of the one he loved and the people around her. Of course, iban to, may binayaran man mo. May mga, may mga mourners man ang mga hudiyo. Nga ang ila sole job is by rainyo kami para kami magbulig hibi. Grabe naman, mulang yun ang negosyo sa kabuhi. Mabulig ko hibi. But I think this weeping was genuine enough that it moved the Son of God who knows the hearts of men. Kaya ano naman yung klase ka, subo, grabe, guru na. So Jesus said, di inyo sa ginham niya. They said to him, Lord, come and see. And this is the verse that I want us to memorize today. Jesus wept. I had a question sa amun nga theology teacher ni Pastor Reniel. Sir, nga sa Biblia, why gin may nasulat nga si Jesus ng kadlaw? I'm a kind of person nga namian magkadlaw or magpakadlaw sa iban. Valid man or hindi. Namian ko yung masinadyahon nga klase sang tao or sang klase sang nga atmosphere. Pero nga si Jesus, why gin ko kaagi nga nabasahan sa Biblia ang record and Jesus laughed. Si Jesus ginakadlawan sa mga tao. Diba? Gina ginayaguta sa mga tao. Pero why gin ko yung kaagi Isn't he a joyful kind of person? Pero nga sa bilog ng Biblia, amo pa ni ang ginrecord. Naghibi si Jesus. Why did he weep? Especially knowing nga hindi lang magdugay after that, banhawon niya man yapon. Nga naghibi pa siya. May tawag na sila ganin. Ano nga ganin? A classic tears man. Daw piki nga classic luha. Crocodile tears. Thank you. Meaning, pahibi-hibi. Amuning, amuning mga luha. Amunang mga luha sa mga artista. Ang daw, is, ang daw isagid kabilog ng katulo. Na, mga na. Crocodile. Kwa, kwa, gani pastor na kapink pa sa kandahan sa buko. Ikaw man, Bijoy. <laughs> Ay, sorry. Naka-live na galing. Sana All. All. <laughs> Kaya niya. Dari sa sa camera. Ah, ara may camera na. Try sa may. <laughs> Dapat may amo na. Okay, nga nang gibi si Jesus. First, probably he was angry with how sin has affected humanity. do sa kainit yung gurub lang uh, kung paano ginhalitan sang kamatayon or sang sala ang tao that it caused their death and Satan has been using this as a tool. Munang tawag si Yan Jesus, he's a murderer from the very beginning kay siya ni ang panghagad sa mga tao na magpakasala sa ginoo so that they are dying left and right. Sa kainit niya, nagibig siya. Ngawain na na pong gandun, na puno na ginman sa gurub lang. Ibig ko na lang yun. Or two, he was frustrated at how sin is affecting even the people he loved. Arya, generally, sin is killing people. Satan is using this tool. But specifically, lain kong isa ang imong ang grief if it's someone close to you. No wonder si Paul has to dedicate a teaching sa 1 Thessalonians 4. Kung ito last time ang balila, ito pastor, ito nakapamangkot gin ng Julie ti ang kapalantaw-lantaw na bisang rapture nga movie sa mga camping ano na ya pa konsensya nga klase evangelism ang ni Paul the rapture is to comfort those who are grieving their loved ones who are believers ti kami nga mga apo why kami naghibi sa napataya mo lula pero may ari gid sa inyo hasta subong inyo pagluksa tungod na dulaan kamo sa hinigugma sa kabuhi I think we have a member sa Lemery. Palangga naman iyabanas ang buhi, pero doon mas palangga niya, Gids, ang napatay. 
And ang iyang uh, work is kabulig siya sa balay. And she made it a point. Within the first two years, nga napatay iya ba na, every day, ato sa sapatsyo. Feeling niya doon sini, guru niya kabuhi. Kantoan niya ganyang patsyo. Historyahon niya man doon sa patsyo. Amo na, sugi niya, doon lang, pastor, kahapit, yung kutuan na eh. Turo tayo pa upwa sa, ano eh, sa panchon, kung ano man ka ulugtasan sa mga bata niya. Or te, ano, sa kahidlaw sa iyang abana. So Jesus here weep or wept because he probably was frustrated at how sin was affecting even the people he loved. Pero ang namihan ko sa tanan, Jesus wept because he is a sympathetic savior. He was deeply, greatly moved, troubled at the sight of weeping. I'm a kind of person who can keep my emotions in check Probably, tungod kay ginambalan kami sa gamay ang gahibi, agi. Wala, patila ko muna. Amung ginayang patpadako sa amun mo, ang gahibi, agi. Ang gahibi, agi. Ite, kami lang kapahibi sa mga tao. Ite, dapat agi ka, kay gahibi ka. Pero I realize real men cry. But imagine a savior who claims that he is a God, but incapable of feeling. Tawag siya na sa ilunggo or sa Tagalog, pusong bato. Ang tanan niya, gahinibi na ikaw ya, do sa wala lang niya sa imo. So I realized the answer to my question sa ako maestro, Sir nga si Jesus, why did din record nga nagkadlaw sa I'm glad that it was never recorded anywhere that Jesus laughed. I'm even glad that it was recorded in the shortest verse in the Bible, that one small portion of the Bible saying, Jesus wept. Why? He is able to grieve with us. I think this week, may nabasahan, uh, may, na, may nabatean ko nga, may Jewish nga proverb, gahambal sila, nga ang, ang luha kuno sa mga katawahan sa ginoo, kung mahulog sa duta, ang iya nga dulunggan, gapamate, paghulog sa luha nila sa duta. To say that God is a sympathetic God, that He feels what we feel, He is affected by it, ng Hebrews, we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize. This is a negative way of saying we have a sympathetic Savior who knows our weakness, who feels our weakness. So the Jews said, Ito ang reaksyon sa after, after ng verse ang Jesus wept, see how he loved them. Nantawa ko ano, nila, ano niya kapalangga si Lazarus enough that this Jesus who's been healing people was moved enough that he cried. Pero may ibang ganyan ang uh, palingin ulo. Some of them said, could he, could not he open the eyes of the blind man also have kept this man from dying. Tani, gindali-dali niya kagintuan niya na di kagin ay. So Jesus, again, deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Gambal sila, kung may kwarta ka sa Israel, makapaubra ka sa pansyon sa kuiba. Kaya kung wala ka kwarta, palubong ka na lang diritso sa duta. Pwede, amuna tuya mo. Meaning, si Joseph of Arimathea may kwarta to, kaya nakapaukit sa sang lulugnan sa Kuiba. So probably this family was well off enough for them to have their tomb in a cave kag siradaan mo na with a stone tungod kay pwede na sudlon sa mga wild animals para kaunon ang lawa. So kinanglan may entrance kag exit. Jesus said, take away the stone. Of course, buksi ang panchon. So Martha said to Jesus, Lord, by this time, Kung manotis nyo, kung nabasahan nyo ang account balas ng kamatayan ni Jesus, 
Gadali sila preparar sang spices. Meaning, gadali sila preparar sang pahumot. They have to bathe the, the body of Jesus. And I think ang mga Muslim, di lang ko sura, i-confirm ko ni, sila mismo gapaligo sang lawas or sang bangkay, sang ilapatay. Hindi imbal sa mador. Diriya may arak sa mga sa mga templo may maubra na kay wala di St. Peter laban-laban sa templo mo na dalon kay siya na mahugas ang lawas siya na may preparar antes na isulod sa refrigerator na doon mo ng ilang alungon pero dito ya kamo ma preparar sang i think myrrh sa so, no? myrrh di man daw perfume na sa para gid man sa patay kag putso na nila sa tela But nevertheless, bisan gin, ginliguan pa ang lawas, kagin perfuman, hindi mo ginyang mapunggan ang baho sa decomposition. And the odor is so strong na uh, four days pa lang gani, kapanimaho na. So, kabalo si Marta. Jesus nga, uh, gusto mo na buksan. Okay lang niya magkantuta sa panchon. Pero hindi lang pagbuksig ka baho. And he has been dead four days tells us, hindi ka lang tawa bala, mabiyahin si Jesus isa kaadlaw, ang mensahe malabot siya isa kaadlaw, maamtan pa yan ni Jesus, bisan nagdali-dali ito sa, Ari, he has been dead four days. Probably, hambal nila, when the messengers left to bring the news to Jesus, Lazarus was already dead. Why pa yaka labot ang mensahe kay Jesus, laban-laban puno si Lazarus patay na. No wonder si Jesus wa ay managdali. Because it would take one day from Bethany to where Jesus is to travel. So pagkabutos ang balita, one day na nga patay si Lazarus. Jesus stayed for more for two days more and Jesus had to travel another day to Bethany. No wonder. No na. Jesus stayed for two more days to leave no doubt that Lazarus was truly physically dead. Gusto niya surbol na si Lazarus patay. No doubt to it. Ang muna ang ininga verse proves that kay gahambal gin si Martha, Jesus bahok na ni ang mangkay. Okay? So, Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? Ang tobla si Jesus, kabaluman siya kong isa, nga, may mga may mga confession of faith na ginahambal ta. Kaya sa paghambal ta, feeling ta doon confident gid. Diba? Yes, Lord, I believe. Pero sang ginbuksan ang lungon, uh, ang pansyon, doon hindi na sa magpati. Kaya mali, Jesus, di ba? Nangamba mo kasi mo kung magpati ka. So, they take away, took away the stone. Or sabi, may, may, may mo kay Jesus, ginpati ka po nila. Jesus lifted up his eyes and prayed to the Father saying, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. I said this. Not for me, but for those who are hearing this. This is a public event. And Jesus prayed publicly so that people will hear it publicly that they may believe that you sent me. When he said these things, he cried out with a loud voice. Okay. Nanto ang command, it's two, word, it's two simple words. Lazarus, which is his name, he addressed the dead by his name, come out. Let's take note first. Nga aginhambali John, Jesus said it with a loud voice. May mga pagano that they chant. And probably one of those chants is prayer for the dead. Pero si Jesus, gusto niya ipaklaro that this was a loud command. This was not a chant. He prayed to the Father, but He said it with a loud, clear voice. Lazarus, come out. Commanding the corpse. To come out. So in the book, verse 44, the man who died came out. Tanto ang pag-describe ni John sa ginihimo or natabo diri kay Lazarus. His hands and feet bound with linen strips, his face wrapped with a cloth. 
So ang command ni Jesus kagina, Lazarus come out, ang second niya command, unbind him and let him go. Imagine kung ikaw si Lazarus. Kaya ite, may mga sining akong isa, uh, ang bida, yung dakop, kag, ginlipong, pagbugtaw niya, arang sa sulod sa mungun. Kagindiin sa kagwa. Roaria, napatay ka, ginlubong ka na, ginputos ka nga dumami. Tantawa, his hands and feet were bound, his face was wrapped. Yan ba sa mga maestro, laban-laban, si Lazarus, why man ito nang ekspektar na mabanaw sa? Galing, kahit nabuhi ka na, ang natural mo tendency, mabangon ka git. Diba? Galing, pagbangon mo, hindi ka kalakad mayo, kahit dumami ka, kagang mami, of course, putson ka na nila nga daw kukun or daw ulod. Laban-laban ko no, si Lazarus, gagwa sa lulugnan, gatumbo-tumbo, nga daw ulod. Amo na daw sakto mo lang para magamba si Jesus, unbind him and let him go para makalakat sa tadlong. Kag of course, ano na common sense nga gaid man bayo kay nakauba na. Wala na lang gid sugpon, di ba? Pero kwaa na ang nakaputos sa iya and let him go. But with a simple straightforward yet powerful and life-giving command of Jesus, Lazarus rose from the dead. Come out. And Lazarus was resurrected. So, what was the positive response of the many Jews who witnessed this miracle? Verse 45, many of the Jews. Na kung natandaan nyo, gin, gin, gin make sure ni, ni John na ginhambal, halini sila sa Jerusalem. They were there for the funeral. They were there to mourn. They were there to comfort. But that day, they witnessed a miracle. And because of the miracle they witnessed, seeing it, they believed in Him. Ang purpose ni John sa pagsulat sang iyang gospel, so that you may believe in Christ. Amuna, ang gina-record niya, amuni gin claim ni Jesus, amuni gin himo ni Jesus, kag amuni effect sa iyang gin himo. So Jesus claimed that He is the resurrection and the life. He actually resurrected a dead man coming back to life and the people who witnessed it first positively they believed. Okay? So many of the Jews who saw the miracle of the resurrection that day believed in the Jesus, on Jesus. So the purpose of the miracle was fulfilled. Kinga. Si Jesus wa ito nagbanhaw sang patay para kita man subong mamanhaw man kita sang patay. No. It was to demonstrate that Jesus was beyond human because he is God for being able to perform. Why? This is not the first time someone came back from the dead. Sino to? Elisha was able to resurrect the son of a widow in Zarephath. But take note of this. Elisha was able to do it not because he is God, but because of God. Hindi ito yung command si, si Elisha parehos kay Jesus. Okay? Nag-pray over sa sa bata, pero na, nabanhaw tong bata tungod sa ginoo, paagi ka Elisha, not because Elisha was God, but Jesus is different. He claims that he is the resurrection and the life. These two claims one will and should not make lightly. So Jesus has proven that truly he is indeed the resurrection and the life. Why man di patyo para kantuan na mo ni Pastor Reniel nga bisan magkalabugto pa amon tunsil sang singgit come out. Why gid sang patay mabanhaw tungod hindi kami ya ginoo. Okay. Pero kung may nagpate, verse 47 ended by saying, some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. And starting from that point forward, they are seriously planning the death of Jesus. So kung may nagpate, si John, the record man, 
May arak man wala ng pati. We will end with three lessons this afternoon. Number one, Jesus performed miracles not to show off his power. I think ang personality sa pagsulat sa hindi ko sure kung si Stan Lee na naghimo sa character ni Spider-Man pero kapatid ko ang naghimo sa character ni Spider-Man o boy pasikat or base gusto sa magpasikat pero ay sinagsikat sa gamay so ginpagwa niya lang sa character ni Spider-Man nga daw ka maglumpat-lumpat sa nga daw ka masinadyahon nga klase superhero nga daw gapasikat nga klase but Jesus had the power, had the ability, but it was not to show off his power, but to demonstrate two things. Number one, his compassion. Pagnamian ko nga may element of emotion, may element of mercy sa gahom sa ginoon. Because this is not a condescending way of helping people. Meron yung mga tao nga may kasarang sila, pero kung isa, do simu simuon ka pa nila. Nga do ka matapubre pa nga klase tao. But here Jesus is genuinely showing His power to show His mercy to people. But most importantly, it is to prove that He is truly God. Okay? It's easy to claim that you are God, but you have to show proof. Exhibit A, Apollo C. Kibuloy. Ya claim siya nga ginuo siya, ko pamatian mo siya, do ikaw pa ma do ikaw pa makonsensya ano man, basi ako pang unbeliever kay ginayaguta ko sa ako ay gugapati sa iya. But have you ever seen Kibuloy healed someone? Have you ever witnessed Kibuloy raising someone from the dead? Because as far as I know, sa akusasyon sa iya, do siya pa ni gani guro ang matiklo sa presuhan and if those accusations are true. I hope he gets imprisoned for what he did. Because it's easy to claim that you are the Son of God, but you have to show proof. Amuna, make sure that when you purchase something, you keep the proof of purchase. Ibisan ng bakal ka sang bayo. Kag na-realize mo, hindi galing ka igo sa imo, a week later, nagbalik ka, kay ara pa man within the time nga pwede mo iuli, kag naghambal ka sa tindira, dahil sa imo mo ako nagbakal. Diba nung duman mo, hindi siya lang tawad ito pang CCTV. But if you have no proof, hindi mo na yan, hindi pang gundi mo na yung kuha, hindi pulot nga bayo. You need to have proof. That's why the miracles of Jesus is not that the church should copy it, but it is a proof of his claims. Okay? Kasi ma-realize mo, mabasahan mo, ga-claim siya, mabanhaw sa halin sa patay, naligo sa, sa gasolina, kagintutdan niya, kung galingon niya, and after three days, abu pa sa gyapon. It's easy to claim something, but you need to have proof. So the miracles of Jesus were proof of his claims. Okay? Number two, Lazarus' sickness truly gave God the Father and the Son the glory because it showed people of His power. It proved that Jesus is indeed the resurrection and the life. No wonder, Jesus, I am glad that I was not there. Why? You need to see it for yourself that I am truly the resurrection and the life. Nahimaya ang amay and specifically Nehemiah ang anak, that with the sickness of Lazarus, he was able to prove to them so that they believe. Si Martha, si Mary, iya mga disciples, and many Jews from Jerusalem, that they believe that he is the life and the cause of resurrection. Interestingly, someone asked, nabatian ko this week, when Lazarus died, di inahin ang kanto iya kalag. Feeling you. Natunan taman ang impirno, kag ang langit. Di ba last time? Ang um, teachings about hell. Ang rich man, di naganto. Immediately, Hades. Si Lazarus, nga siya ang pegado, 
This is not the same Lazarus. Hindi niya pigado ang Lazarus. Kagawa niya si Aro. Hindi siya nagkanto. Sa langit. So we assume that if Lazarus is a believer, hindi niya nagkanto niya kalag. Langit. So namihan ko sa follow-up question niya. So kung ara ka na sa langit, nangakigayahan si Lazarus, naging patawag pa sa balik, at tunak ko sa langit, ibalik mo pa ako sa duta? Kasi siya sa dyan ako tupod sa ginoo, ibalik mo pa ako di sa duta? Kahit nagbalik ka pa sa imong ano na, grave clothes, hindi pa na yan sa ano, hindi pa na baby clothes, ano ginya? Baho na itong mga, mga tela. Ano yan ang feeling, ano yan ang feeling nila sa Ros? Sa, sa itong mismo oras o sa sunod nga adlaw? Baho kagahapon, natun ako sa langit, sa buong nagbalik ko sa duta. Ibao. Was he mad? The answer is, dumihan ko sa sabat sang pastor, I believe Lazarus was happy that he could be an instrument to glorify the sun. Nga siya ang nipaalagyan, nga iya maluluwas, na pamatunan ang iya claim that he is the resurrection and the life. And he was an instrument to glorify God that day. And why is that feeling ko? Okay lang ito sa iya iya. Nga siya ang nagbalik halin sa minatay para mahimaya ang iya maluluwas to prove that he is the resurrection and the life. Lastly, Jesus is the source of life and he has the power to raise us from the dead. Because the point of this story is this. Not that Jesus performed miracles, but he has proven that he is indeed the resurrection and the life. Dua atun personal response. Death will surely come to you and me. So how will you face it? COVID is not as it's not as dangerous or it's it's not as as fearful as you make it to be or as people make it to be. Nga, kung wala COVID, hindi ka pwede mapatay ako. Ang muna namihan ko sa mga kano, kaya namihan sila bala mag, maghimo sa mga odds. Amalila, there is a greater chance for you to die in a car crash than in an airplane. Of course, kung mapatay kaya sa plane crash, kasakit lang kaya, why kaya do, do labo, chansa mo nga, ma, nga mabuhi, pero damo pa feeling ko, ang gakapatay sa motorcycle accident this year than COVID. True or false? Nga, why man yan may gakakulbaan niya po magsakay sa motorcycle? Nga, adlaw-adlaw kasakay ka mo niya po motor. Or ako may handong yapon nga gusto magkamotor. Pero ang gakapatay sa COVID, mas gamay pa ang gakapatay sa motor. COVID did not make death worse. Sometimes it just, ano na, ginpatimprano niya lang. But COVID or not, we will surely face death. So how will you face it? So the second response is, will you come to Jesus and believe that he will give you life and resurrect you from the dead? Sang sugod-sugod ko pa lang na kinatudlo ang John 11 sa mga mga lubong or sa mga patay or sa kung ano man. I talk about insurance, life insurance. May mga tao nga gakwa life insurance but I realize Nga ang life insurance hindi para sa napatay kundi sa ginbilin sang patay. Ako. Okay. kami nga mag-asawa nagkuha kami life insurance why ko na approve kay may ara ko underlying nga mga So, kung mapatay ko do why gini damo ginansya ako na sawa pero kung mapatay siya sure ball do okay okay ko gawa. Life insurance. But what is the best life insurance policy that we can have? It's not wrong for you to get life insurance because it helps your loved ones. For one, hindi na sila mangutang para lang ilubong ka. Diba? But we prepare to face our death with insurance or not because our eternal insurance is Jesus who claim that he is the resurrection and the life, who has proven that he, uh, he is the resurrection and the life. So we end our lesson with this. Will you come to Jesus and believe 
Like Martha. Namian ko, si Martha was already a believer. But Jesus has to get it from her. Gusto ni Jesus, i-confirm halin sa iya. Do you believe this? Why do you again pamangkot ni Jesus sa hindi tumulog? Ginam, pamangkot ni Jesus sa nagapati na nadaan sa iya. Do you believe this? And indirectly, Jesus was also asking that question to the people around her. Do you believe that I am the resurrection and the life? This is our lesson for today. Any question? So can miracles still happen today? I believe miracles can still happen as long as there is a powerful God, but not in a sense that manipulate mo ang miracle or ang milagro. That you call fire down from heaven, that you call God. Of course, we pray for healing. Kung may stage four nga cancer, we pray for healing. But it is in the hands of the sovereign God, not in my hands, or not in the strength or the lack of it sang atong pagtuo nga kita gakaayo e bisan hugot pang pagtuo mo sa kadako nga bukid kun hindi iya kabubuton sang ino nga maayo ka amo na malipol kun di ko ni maayo mas nami grabe nga mentality no why kagid dialogue on sa iya hindi mo mapatay ang tawo nga why na kulbaan mo patay so paul was one of those i'm excited even Ti Lord ayuha ko. And I believe every day He prays it. Kaya ti gabather to feeling mo sa iya mo. Lord, kuwaan ni Liyong na masakit. Pero kung hindi man, may adlaw ko diyan gamba sa... Ti, sige Lord ba? Sige, subong na. Padalian na lang. Excited mo ko. Ano na? Bethel Music. Not recommended. Kaya gatrain gini sila ya sa mga miracle healers. Okay, gatang do ko ng mga ko ng mga ano na ang mga ang mga Seventh Day Advent or ang mga Mormons gapang house to house para mangita convert sila man gapang house to house. Gatesting sang ilaga kung paano sila makaheal sa miracles. They are one of those churches. Okay, so. As a pastor, ako, kami ni Pastor Reniel, o sila ni Nung Joven or ni Brother Mike sa ulihi kung makabisita sa hospital. We pray, Lord, that you will heal. There's nothing impossible with you, but it is always in your hands to heal or not to heal. Any question? Okay, I think isa ni sa mga lawig na lesson sa series. Pwede nyo na itong aon sa dua. Uh, pwede ka maka-end sa I am the resurrection and the life. Kasi lawig pa ang description. Or else, dasig-dasigon nyo gid ang ano na, ang pag-size-size ng istorya. Kay si John is in a narrative form na uh, lawig, kagdamo detalye. Uh, so to get the feel of the whole event, I think... Uh, hindi din makuha guro sa isa lang unless yung inyong mga estudyante uh, are comfortable enough with you. Of course, season 6 na eh, possibly, basi sila nagyan po ng mga batch na ihatag sa inyo sa ginoon. Uh, okay man, kung buso nyo sa isa lang kapong ko, dapat wala na kamo English. Insert nyo lang mga mga vocabulary, resuscitation, resurrection, na Okay, at least bisan spelling na lang makuha na lang nila. Okay. Any question? Or tama close.
Hey, why na? Pang bayon ta si Sir John Ray. Maghibi. Sir, let's go pray. Let's pray. The life and the resurrection of the body of Jesus Christ. Thank you.